Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Saturday Morning Storytime. I'm Joey. I'm Tanya. And today, by special request of Amy Paul, we are doing this book here, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, which Tanya was supposed to say with me as an example of the fact that we're going to do this as audience participation today. So this phrase, the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, happens probably about six or seven times in the book. So when it does, you can say it along with us. I'll just point right before we all say it. And uh, one more time, let's practice it. Here we go, one, two, three. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And we hope that you are having just the opposite of that. So let's begin. We know the title well enough, so let's just jump right in. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell that it was going to be a... Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. And I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I do not get a seat by the window, I am going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell that it was going to be a terrible, horrible, horrible no, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture in the Invisible Castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moya was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a Deborah Decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone and lands in Australia. Wow. He's really got it from Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. This poor guy can't catch a break. <clears throat> We've all had days like that. Yes, we have. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist. And Dr. Fields found a cavity in just me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I am going to Australia. Oh, show you the illustrations by Ray Cruz. Nice pencil drawings here. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for Mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then when I started to cry because of that mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. Brothers, huh? While I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with a car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. It certainly is. 
What happened though? No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, sorry, we're all out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Oops. Yes, thank you. There you go. Wait, get him with. He looks so cute oh, over here. Okay. There we go. All right. And when we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, Please don't pick him up anymore. It, it was, was a terrible, horrible, 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 no good, very bad day. Don't pick him up anymore. That's some dad. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. She'll tell you. My bath was too hot, I got soap in my eyes, my marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad pajamas. I hate my railroad pajamas. Now this is where he and I disagree. I would love to get some railroad pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It's been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that. Even in Australia. Well, some of our friends in Australia will have to let us know. We're going to be on an Australian podcast the end of September. Yeah. So I have to ask them if they have these kinds of days. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you. We hope that you uh, had fun shouting out those things, but you're having a wonderful, brilliant, terrific, fun, exciting day. Yes. That could be a good sequel. So hello to Angelina. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, she says. So she was having fun. And our friend Phil is with his grandsons, George and Roy. Hi, fellas. Hi, I hope you all had Roy. fun. Um, and yeah. Phil, you didn't have to pull out the Lime Tamer stuff too much. So before we let you go, a little preview of next week, one of our all-time favorite books, King Bidgood's In the Bathtub. This old king, all he wants to do is take a bath and not get out. So his whole court has to do some stuff. Angela, thank you. She loves it. Angela works in school. Oh, there's Amy. Who? Uh, hi, Amy. Hi, we Amy. know that you recommended the book. So thank you all. We are going to get up out of here. Have a great day. Bye. Happy Saturday. If you end the slide later on, you'll be able to choose.